Hey, welcome back. As always, very pleased to welcome uh, the uh, the foot care specialist in residence. He's Dr. Mark Bradley from Brantford Podiatry Associates. Glad to have you here. Really nice to be here. And same as your last guest, one of these times we're going to have to get Marilyn to come in instead of me. I got a funny feeling that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fun. Having met Marilyn, it's like, you what? <clears throat> I think you'd kind of have to surprise her, maybe tell her she's delivering something, and then we'll just let her know. Uh, so, because she is also a podiatrist. Yeah. How the heck? I mean, that's for another topic. What's the subject of your today? I, well, it popped into my head recently. Uh, I heard on the radio when we were up north, there were uh, ski swaps and skate swaps and stuff like that. And, you know, it's changing seasons again uh -huh. and we're getting into a whole new realm of activities and as, as a father of kids for a start I have an awful tough time fitting skates and fitting ski boots or snowboard boots in our case um, it, it, it's tough with little feet to try and get them in there and it's tough for adults too you know you've got all this equipment you want to go out and be with your kids and do stuff now the first question I want to ask you is should we should we be, you know, using a used pair of skates somebody else used, or is that where you come in and there's something you can do to help the fit? Okay. In reality, obviously, it's nice to have new. Right. But it's become like an arms race. I know. You've <laughs> got to have the latest. I have kids coming in with new skates, and when they tell me the price of their new skates, I practically fall off the chair. So I can't afford to do that. So yeah, we, we very often will go to a place actually in London, Ontario, and uh, there's a great store there where we get skates for the kids each year. Um, so what can you do? You obviously don't want to introduce sort of bacteria and fungus and stuff like that. So one of the things uh, with even your own skates that you're presently using, you've got to dry them out. If they're left damp and moist, yes, they will harbor uh, uh, various... Uh, infective organisms so that's the most important thing they've got to be dried properly uh, when you get a used pair of skates you obviously inspect the condition of them if they look like they've been well looked after absolutely you can use them um, most spores will actually dehydrate and die bacterial uh, products will dehydrate and die after a period of time you can expedite the process by using not to mention proprietary brands, but something like Lysol spray actually is really effective. So uh, any footwear like ski boots will have liners that you can remove and you can actually wash those and just let them air dry afterwards. But, you know, wash them, uh, you know, good detergent, even a little bleach mixed in there to kill off any spores. Now, can, can we get to the point, I'm even talking, I guess, in comfort and good foot health, can I get that skate and say, wow, the width, I got a wide foot, so it fits really good, it fits the width, but it doesn't feel so comfortable my foot's in there. Can I sit down and say, hey, Dr. Mark, what can we do on the inside? Skates, skates and ski boots and things like that, unfortunately, we've got to turn to the professionals, and that's why a lot of people will buy new. Right. Because a lot of the stores will offer that as part of the fitting service with your purchase of a new ski boot. Um, there are other stores where you can go along and as an aftermarket service they will actually customize and heat up and blow out your boot and adjust it. But uh, you know, doing it from our point of view, no, that, that we can, certainly we can't adjust the skate. What we can do is adjust and change how your foot functions within that sporting uh, boot, shoe, whatever it happens to be and, and certainly that's our forte. No, the silly question I've got is if somebody wears inserts, should they be in my skates? Again, it depends, you know, we're, as you know, a very common sense approach to this. If you play once a week and you're out there playing a little shinny or playing with the kids, I wouldn't certainly advocate going by an a specialized uh, orthotic device if you normally wear one for street wear. Uh, there are plenty of proprietary devices that we can use, we can customize a little bit, and it'll work fine in that environment. An awful lot of our uh, patients are fairly involved um, part-time athletes <laughs> and yeah it, it is I mean if they're prepared to drop 300 bucks every month on a brand new stick after they just snapped it then yeah a pair of orthotics to fit in their skates it's perfectly uh, Am I using uh, different well. mechanics when I'm sliding as opposed to when I'm say oh, running totally. or banging my foot on the ground? Especially any sport that requires edge control. Right. If you are for example like you are and your feet happen to roll in a lot it's very hard to get the sort of power that you would do normally. 
Because of your inherent structural abnormality. So keep them dry, keep them clean, and uh, used okay. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. You can save a little money. Dr. Mark Bradley, Brantford Podiatry Associates. We like saving money inside Brand. Coming back on a Wednesday. More on Remembrance Day, Sid Bolton as well. Thanks as always for doing it inside Brand.